Hello. Yeah, I'm just getting a couple of bits together, then I'll actually start. Boy, Sherry. It's the name of a song, Sherry. There you go. Can't play it because of TOS, but you can have a look at it. Right, this all seems to be working, so let's go, shall we? It is time to make our way through all the skeletons in the world. <laughs> Hi Matt, it's been alright so far, I've spent most of my day off just watching other people's streams. Hi Troy. How's it going? You enjoying your new job? killed most of the necromancers this time or last time so these guys should all be dead or should all stay dead I should say and they're just gonna get splatted yeah is it busier than your old place is it or is it just a lot more a lot more stuff for you to do That's pretty good. 300 bucks for two days. Ah, so is it part of a chain or something, is it? Yeah, you'll find out a way.
Yeah, most of these base skeletons are probably just going to get splattered. Which way do we go? Is it this way? Yeah, there's another necromancer over there. Whoa! Let's heal up a bit first. <laughs> oh yeah, you said you'd been looking at camera locations and things like that, so you know where to not get spotted. <laughs> One of them jumped off. Right, there was. I remember there being like a secret or something around here last time I played this game. Is it this side? <laughs> Ooh, close. This looks like it could be it. Maybe. We're on the other side of that bridge, at least. Yeah, sneak around the car park and do it. It's what the security guards at our place do. That turns that bridge. That's the way down to the bottom. Right, let's have a look what's across this bridge. Business travel, military and government employees. I bet you they still don't tip for shit though, do they? I hear more skeletons. Oh, he's doing the roll. He got back up. So that means there's a necromancer around here somewhere. Oh. This doesn't feel like treasure. Forty dollars. Weed cigars, nice. I need to find this necromancer. Otherwise these guys are gonna follow me everywhere. Dark Moon Seance Ring. Right, let's just run. Or try to. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Dead. We need to find where that necromancer is hiding. Yeah, that would take me a while. Like somebody pointed out recently, like there's a a lich in the World of Warcraft games who shows up all the time. And somebody pointed out, like you do get his phylactery in a very, very early quest and you just sell it because you don't know what it is. So we had the Lich's Phylactery, we could have got rid of him like back in the first version of the game if we'd have known what the Phylactery was.
Alright Dave. Go on. He dropped something. Scimitar. Nah, it's like a scripted quest, but it's like you're a noob adventurer back then. So you've no idea how anything really, really works. Oi, Alex. Also, this weapon is a complete scam. It says on the weapon description that it's indestructible, but it's not. <gasps> Felix! Thank you, Alex, for all the subs. You are too kind. And it's still not Pokemon dead. <laughs> oh no. Well, Necromance 312, Julie Got One, Heart of Blades, Fuming Show, and Matt Got One. Right, where was I supposed to go from here? It was out this door. And then... Oh yeah, it was across this bridge, wasn't it? Over here we've got the exploding heads. Huh. <sighs> I'm sure I've forgotten something round here. I will just get myself to a, a safe spot because there's something I need to fix. Ah, it's a trap! If there is even a safe spot around here. Good old 360 smash. Right then. Let's just grab this and run. Or try to. Necromancer, where are you? Gotta be here somewhere. We'll push this and see what it does. Oh, is it going to be down the bottom or something? Ah, oh, well, they're all falling to their death now. So. I'll oh, be back in just a second.
There we go, sorry about that. Right, let's go find where this necromancer was hiding. Heal up a bit before I go down here. Because I can see one waiting below me. Gotcha. Oh, the necromancer was there as well. Looks like he's dead. <gasps> the dwarf. Yeah, this guy has messed up audio mixing. It's not supposed to sound like that. Skeleton man. All right, dude. Why is that an ember from New London? And a fine ember it be. What do you say? Why not leave it with me? I'll give you a flame to feast your eyes upon. Yeah, all right, you can have it. That laugh, though. <laughs> yeah, so you can see, it tells me I need to repair this weapon. But, if you look at the description for this weapon, The Dragon Tooth will never break as it's harder than stone and grants its wielder resistance to magic and flame. So this thing is supposed to be unbreakable, yet it still needs to be repaired. It is such a scam. Uh, we got them. What does he sell? He said Dragon Chat. He said it. <gasps> Dragon D's nuts across your face. Beat to it. <laughs> no, if I, uh. Oh no, it's these guys. You want to know what the most hated enemy is in Dark Souls 1? It's these guys. Fuck the pinwheel skeletons. And they exist purely as a reference to Berserk as well. Yeah, maybe we're just fixing the handle. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, Dark Souls and Demon Souls and Bloodborne have a lot of references to Berserk, the manga and the anime. And the pinwheel skeletons are one of them. Like, they literally exist only as a reference to part of the anime. And they're an absolute pain. We have a ladder. My favorite Dark Souls boss is Calamite, the ancient dragon D's nuts. Whoa, what's this guy doing down here? Get backstabbed. Splat. And a white titanite junk. L. 
Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, Calamite is fun. I'm going to have to fight him at some point. I don't think I've missed anything that way. It was just that ladder up, wasn't it? L. L. In. In. Oh look, more bone wheels. Although you can get one of these Peen. guys as a shield if I remember right. Peen. Come here. Dem bones. Whoa! Sent him flying. Oh, there we go. Bone wheel shield. Just as I mentioned it. So, where is it? Yeah, look, you can literally get one of these guys as a shield, and you can use their attack. Whee! But, I don't yet have enough strength for this thing in one hand and a shield in the other. Right, which way do I need to go? I think this is the proper way. It looks like it because it's winding a bit. Yeah, there's fog there. So, we will check the other way first, just to make sure I've not missed anything. And I've already missed something because I've not got anything off that ledge. But I think you need to make your way to that from the very top. Ah! It's stuck on me. All right, this goes back to the blacksmith, doesn't it? Then where is the way up? <gasps> Manu! Thank you, Manu. Even though I tried to make you spend money on Valorant skins earlier. Steve got a sub, Statnex got one, Charlie got one, Straight Mile and Shaft 40 got one. <laughs> Thank you, Manu, you are very kind. Both. Ah, there is another ladder. I thought I spotted one. <laughs> right, what's well, over this way? Is this where I think it is? Yeah, look at that guy over there. Right. So back this way, there should be a couple of items, if I remember right. A couple of useful items at that. Yeah, that's... Go away, exploding head. Skeleton. Another skeleton. And another skeleton. I do love the 360 move with this thing. Let's go. Wow. Dodge the exploding head. <laughs> Oh, 
So yeah, these guys are reviving, but I don't know where the necromancer is that revives them. Oh well. He's probably in there somewhere, but there's nothing important that I remember. So we'll go down and we will bop Pinwheel in the face, shall we? Or we'll have a look at this Titanite Demon down here first. Because... There is something I want to do, if I can remember where you do it. It's one of these, I'm sure it is. It is, it's this one right next to him. Right, let's give him a bop. Ah, we're doing an alright amount to him. Back away, please. And I have no healing. Um... Do we kill each other? No, he got me. Bastard. Almost had him. Ah oh, well, at least I know I can skip most of the stuff there now, because I've picked up all the stuff. Hi, step. Yeah, everybody seems to be gifting things today. Buying sherry food. <laughs> right, so. What was the way down? I can never remember this bit. Get rid of these guys. No worries, Stat. Nice to see you. So, if I drop off and go on this one, and then these are the stairs down, and these are the guys who keep reviving. Oh yeah, this was the... Keep climbing, keep climbing. Snake romance set up on the other side. in the bomb or in the angle no it's not there's just this pee -pee guy poo -poo. Up here. when I say pee pee you say poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo stab them in the eye poo poo pee pee Yeah, all of them doing psycho crushes and stop hitting me. Need to climb more. 
Here's the way out. Ignore these fuckers. forwards a bit. Poo's poo. Poo's poo. Get out of there. Good. Dead. Mm. Right, let's give this tight night demon another go. Oh, as if that attack still got me. I messed that up horribly. Cockpits, 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 cockpits. Oops. Another red and white round shield. Right, so. This way, and then this way. This is the spiral down. Then we just go around here. You're gonna follow me. You're gonna get splatted. That's the psycho crusher move everybody loves. Even though I bounced off the pillar, I still did enough to him. Right, let's do it properly this time, shall we? So, Mr. Big Titanite Demon. And then three. There. One, two, then three on the delay. Staggered, so let's get a bit of stamina back. One, two, third one on the. Whoa! Can't 
Come on, come this way a bit. One, two, third one on a delay. Two. Back off a bit, get some health. No worries, Trevor. See you in a bit. Got him. Ah, uh, we got some demon titanite. Uh, we get eyes of death. Which is just what we needed. And you can piss right off. So we've got over this way. We have a ledge. And a skeleton coming up to meet me. Dead. No, oh, you fall. There. Get out. I always forget what's around here. Oh, we're at this bit, are we? So this goes right down to the bottom. <gasps> Hi, Chua. The name of the town is Hlanvaya po Hwing i Chugeru Hwindrobo Hlantisilio Gogogoch. So we're going to go up here, because there is something specific I want to do. Hi, Bort. How are you? Now we're going to go and sit in a coffin for a bit. I'm alright. I am slowly making my way through all the skeletons in the world. Now I'm just waiting for this guy to do something. <sighs> there we go. Just sat here having a rest. Looking at me feet. Oh, somebody calls the lead. And then the lid opens again and we are somewhere else. Dave might recognise this place. Hey, look! Dave. He's asleep. So... Not that we can actually do anything with his covenant, because it doesn't work until new game plus. But he gives us some cool things. And we shall give you one, two, three. There we go. So, he just gave us his sword. Where is it? 
and this sword is cool. Get some way you can see it a bit better. And this is the only weapon in the game that can do toxic damage. Unfortunately, it scales really badly with the stats that we've got, but yeah. It's a curved greatsword, does slashing and thrust. Sword wielded only by servants of Gravelord Nito, the first of the dead. Crafted from the bones of the fallen, the miasma of death exudes from the sword, a veritable toxin to any living being. So yeah, that thing does toxic damage, it's horrible in PvP. Because toxic is really mean. But, it scales really badly with what we've got, so we're just gonna leave. I just wanted to get it because it's cool, and I might use it later. But yeah, that whole covenant doesn't actually work until New Game Plus. Like, the way it works is you basically invade somebody's world and it adds extra enemies and things like that. But, they never set it up with the base game properly. So now we continue to the bottom. Because we have... The skelly bones to go and beat up. And I have no healing for the fight. And if I die to the fight, I'm going to be very, very embarrassed. So we go this way. There's the bone wheels coming to get us. Piss off. Oop, exploding head. Right. This leads to where I didn't want to go. And he's followed us in. So we're going to go to the other side of the arena. Past three more pin bone wheels. Who might actually kill me before I get to the boss. Leave me alone. There we go. Have to do the boss two pixel style. Unless. Equipment. Nope, not got any on me. I was wondering if I could use a cheeky humanity to heal up. Hell, the fall into the boss arena might even kill me. This is Pinwheel. Pinmail can drop one of the cooler masks. Well, he drops three different masks. But Dad is the one that you want. The guy with the beard. Yep, the fall into the boss arena killed me. Didn't even get a chance. But now we have definitely explored everywhere, so I'm just going to run. I hope I get Mask of the Father. Like, it will come in... You can get it later on. Because the guy who sells boss stuff will sell the other masks to you. But it's ages before you can get to him.
And yeah, Mask of the Father is the best one. Or best one for a melee character anyway. Still hear it chasing me. We go this way. Oh yeah, we've got these guys at the bottom, don't we? So do something fancy. <laughs> There's no black knight to contend with. So we just need to go. Over there are. Come on. No way. That's why we don't like bone wheel skeletons. Bastards. Right, fuck it, I'm just gonna kill them this time. Look for the drop point at the top. Yeah, I didn't expect to get caught as badly as I did then. Slay them all. Right. Where is the drop point from the top of here? Because I know there is one. It's like a way to drop almost all the way down. Manu contributing to Fork Knife. Kelly will be happy with that. These ones see us, and I'm just going to kill them this time. No, bad bone wheel. Make you explode, shall we? That skeleton is just going to get up again because it's one of the necromancer ones. There. See, even if you use a shield, the bomb wheels can be a pain because that rolling thing they do counts as like continued multiple attacks. So your only real options are either run or kill them. Now as you saw last time, running doesn't always work. Alright, let's go. Pick these up. 
Go in here. And drop in. We'll skip this because we've already seen it. Hi, pinwheel. Get back here. Oh look, the boss is dead. And that's all it takes. And we got Mask of the Child. Don't even know what that one does. Mask of the Child has higher magic defense than lightning defense that I've got. Three massive pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grey Lord and reigns over the catacombs. Slightly raises stamina recovery speed. Oh, that's not bad actually, the Mask of the Child. And we also got the Rite of Kindling, which I don't think even shows as an item anywhere, does it? Or is it a key item? There we go, Rite of Kindling. This secret rite allows bonfires to be bolstered further without with kindling, so that even more esters can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans found little use for humanity until they turned undead. So this thing lets you boost up bonfires even further. So normally you can boost them up to 10, this I think lets you boost them up to 20. Anyway, where's the way out? Is it over here? No. Oh no, there is. There's a ladder. But yeah, pinwheel is a chump. Like, unless you have no idea what you're doing, or you're horribly underleveled, or you're using a weapon that you really shouldn't be using, he dies very quickly. So all he does is he creates decoys. The decoys die in one shot. So you just turn around and hit the other one. But even then, you can just keep looking at the original one. And I don't have a lamp for this bit. So I might have to go elsewhere after I find the bonfire. So if I go up... Because normally you would do this bit with a source of light, because it all goes pitch black. And I don't think I ever picked one up. The necromancers occasionally drop them, but... No. I am just going to have to trust these. Little prism stones. And we are in the Tomb of the Giants. In this place, uh, as you can see, is pitch black. Thought that was another one, then it was just the dead one rolling down. So here we have prism stones. Got more bones, and you can see lava down there. Because that bit down there is actually part of the bed of chaos. Where we thought, oh no. Well, that's why we need a light source. Yeah, I think I can get to fa face hugger. Uh, do we need to go? Do I have enough humanity to do it? 
Uh, so we're going to have to sack off Tomb of Giants for now because... 14, 15 humanity. <laughs> I will do Manu one day. Yeah, we'll have to sack off Tomb of Giants now because I literally have no way to see in there. Um, so we shall go to... We'll nip back to File and Consuse there first. So who do we have? We have Paramancer Man. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and uh, if I'll be pleased to assist you, boys. I'll just yeah, say wonderful. yes. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged Pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. And yeah, that's literally all it takes to become a Pyromancer. Because you do not need any form of intelligence or anything for it. Art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. So yeah, unlike sorcery, which requires intelligence and study and learning Pyromancy just works off your emotions and being in tune with stuff. Wake up. No, well, not treat me like an oak. So anybody become become a pyromancer as long as they have a pyromancy frame. And a decent pyromancer can share theirs with you. Literally just duplicate it. So Paramancer Flame comes under our weapons, so do a bit of management, put all this junk away. Short bow. Black Knight Grey Tax can go in there. Grave Lord Sword can go in there. All of these falchions and scimitars can go in there. Keep hold of Vihanda, keep hold of Great Sword. Keep hold of Long Sword. Right, so where was I going to go? Um Still Dead Parish it's called. Because it's a dragon I need to go and smack. Or a Drake. However it's classified. But here is our body. So well, don't think I have enough dragon scales. Uh, reinforce. No, I need one more dragon scale. It's a wyvern, actually. So, what's the quickest way to the bridge? Hmm. Is it just up here and... Yeah, I'll go, I'll go this way. Backtrack through the berg. No, I know. We'll go through the beginning of the game area because there's also a black knight there I can beat up. So we will warp back to Firelink. And we will replay the beginning of the game to get to the bridge. Uh, 
And a short sword. There. Literally do not care about these guys anymore. Then we have the rat. There. Hello. So we run. Oh yeah, that's the woman down here who sells stuff. Let's see if she's got out useful for us. Blood red poison. Oh yeah, she sells the transient curses, doesn't she? Right, we'll be back to her later. So we're going to make our way all the way through here to go and punch a dragon in the face again. I'll say punch him in the face, there won't be much. Punching done. I have not spotted any vagrants yet. I did find a vagrant in my very first playthrough of the game and I had no idea what it was. But I have been keeping my eye out for them. Now, the first place I ever saw a vagrant was in my very first playthrough of the game when I had no idea what I was doing or what anything was and it was on top of um, the tower were the Taurus demon fighters you have the two archers up there And I went up, and there was like a little ball thing up there, and I went, what the hell is this? And I killed it and got some humanity. There's the ladder. So I've got to remember how this bit works now, because I can't remember how you're supposed to taunt the drake down. I know you just pop up first and he breathes fire. And then... Come on, you come in down. I'm over here. I'm not going to risk running through the fire because it'll still kill me. There we go. What are you doing? Are oh, you going to do that? No, it's going to breathe fire in it. Yeah, the fire will still fuck you up, even at high level. See? There's this weird flaming rush thing. I just need to get... Come on, let me get close. Just come here. 
and his fire got me. So yeah, still messes you up. Got a piece of, decent bit of damage on him though. Just need to actually kill him. Hi Brina! We are fighting a dragon, or a wyvern, or a drake. You take your pick. So do your breath thing. And then... Come down here and fight me. Yeah, Arox is a, a member of our community. He's given out a few Gwyf flubs today. And you are one of the lucky ones. He might still be in chat if he's paying attention. Come on, Dagron. There we go. land already. Stop doing that stupid attack. Yeah. There we go. Wow. So if the physical and the fire gets you, that thing wrecks. Quick, go the stairs and heal. <laughs> and you've pissed off all back. There. Right, come on land. Come on land so I can hit you. Come on land. This is also not the recommended way to do this boss. Like 99% of people will just sit and spam arrows at this guy. I don't think this even really counts as a boss, he's more of a mini boss than anything else. So are you going to land? I can hear you grumbling, just land so I can hear you. There. And he got me. I am tempted to spam arrows at him. What bows do I have? Oh, I've got the Dragon Slayer bow, don't I? Somewhere. I have a single Dragon Slayer arrow. Um, Got a heavy crossbow, dragon slayer, great bow, and a short bow. As for arrows, we'll just take everything. So, first of all, Did I take out that Dragon Slayer arrow or not? I did. I have a Dragon Slayer arrow. 
Oh, that's why I don't have stats to equip it. Booger. So we will go heavy crossbow. With heavy bolts. Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. So first of all, we shall aim for that. How do you aim these things? I've forgotten. Oh, he landed. Where the fuck do I aim the bow? And the crossbow, I can't remember. Um... Try with the arrows first. Get good pee pee poo poo head. I'll pee pee poo poo head you. Right, so that's how you aim the bow. How do I aim crossbow? You just can't aim crossbows, apparently. Right, I have to try hitting him. And just hope he doesn't do the big bad breath attack. In fact... Drink tooth. Come on, do fire attack. Come on, land. Oops, broke his tail. I'm just going to be a bitch and run down the stairs a lot. run back up there. Has he landed? No, he's back at the top. So it's just going to be a game of chicken in it. Wait for the big ugly drake to come and land. I've just remembered its name as well, it's called the Hellkite Drake. And spat and splat. And then run away. Because fire hurts. I 
if I even pop up there, he's just going to breathe fire. So I'm going to wait for him to go. <laughs> Manu used all of her points. Dragon D's nuts across your face. Dragon D's nuts across your face. Run and hide from the fire. Wait for him to come on land and then smack him in the face. Or in the ankle. <gasps> Manu. Nah, it's alright, you're a mod. You're allowed to abuse the system if you want. that one and then we run fucker <laughs> I needed to just run for the stairs that's what it's gonna be it's literally just gonna be hit him a couple of times and run for the stairs but at least I broke his tail so we'll have a look at that cause this is a weapon you can get really early on Drake's sword this sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by a drake's tail. Drakes are seen as undeveloped imitators of the dragons, but in they are likely their distant kin. The sword is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. So, swing. Held with both hands, you do. That. Um, at the moment I am going to kill the drake because I want him dead and yeah uh, as an early game weapon that thing is really powerful so I was just saying that you can a lot of people will cheese the hellkite drake just by going under the we're no strangers to love you know the rules and so do I <laughs> a full commitment what I'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling gotta make you understand never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and desert you never gonna make you cry never gonna say goodbye never gonna tell a lie and hurt you we've known each other for so long your heart's been aching but you're too shy too shy to say it inside we both know <laughs> i have 10k points so i can spam poo poo pee pee so much poo poo pee pee yeah a lot of people will cheese this boss by going under the bridge and just shooting at it with arrows at its tail where it can never get to you or there's like one that was the burning rush that's the one we don't want to get hit by ever But yeah, a lot of people will just spam arrows at him from under the bridge and... Shit, shit, piss, piss. Shit, shit, piss, piss. There, it just clipped me. So I'm going to go down here until he buggers off. But yeah, if you get a direct hit by his flame... What's just... been going on, we know the game, and we're gonna play it, and if you ask me how I'm feeling, don't tell <laughs> me you're too blind to see, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, never gonna give you up, never, never gonna, gonna let, let you down, down never, never gonna, gonna run never around and desert you, never gonna, gonna make you cry, cry never gonna, gonna say goodbye, goodbye never, never gonna, gonna tell, tell a lie and hurt you, you give, give you up. up. Getting Rick rolled by TTS. Better than getting Rick rolled by my own mom on the stairs. Ooh, ooh, give you up. Ooh, ooh, never gonna no. give. Never gonna give. Give you up. Ooh, ooh, never gonna give. Never gonna give. Give you up. We've known each other for so long, your heart's been aching, but you're too shy to say it inside. 
We both know what's been going on we know the game, and we're gonna play it I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling gotta make you understand never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and desert you there is limit. No more point sequels. <laughs> um. Let's grab some better fire resist stuff. It might help, it might not. Yay. Can I still roll alright? Yeah, I can. I will defeat this boss, mini boss, eventually. Just because I want it dead. Luckily, he kills a bunch of hollows for us every time, so... Just gonna wait for him to come down. And this gear has slightly better fire resist, so... We shall see how it goes. Oh. Almost. See, that's the burning rush that we want to avoid. No mind, he kicked us down the stairs. Just where I wanted to go. for a tail swipe, are we? Right, down the stairs we go. I like how all the fire just clips through this bit. Was that him taking off again? Yeah, it was. Thing is, I can't even lock on from here to tell how much health he's got left. Can't be that much. Oh, we'll go for one hit. And then he flies up. There we go. As long as I'm not directly in the centre of his breath, it seems to be alright. Look, he got me a lot worse then. So, let's chug. Although I might be a bit trapped now. Quick, get to the stairs, get to safety. Yeah, he's just spamming his jump and breathe down move. Wait for him to move around a bit. Yeah, this guy is definitely a trap. This is right near the beginning of the game as well, so loads of people get stuck here. Right, come and land. It's a trap! Dead. There we go. Need. Finally beat the Hellkite Drake using melee. And now I can go and pick up a bonfire.
So. Put me proper claws back on. Have a look around here. So out here we have this poor fella. Some barrels. A door that is too small for us to fit through. Some more hollows. But we also have the other reason I wanted to come here. Forgive me. Hello I was there. Just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in An Orlando, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith? Or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me what if I am seen as a laughing stock? as a blind fool without reason. Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> nah, you're cool. One of the few genuinely oh, helpful mother, people. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. And this statue, if you have high enough faith, you can actually pray at this statue to get miracles and stuff. And somebody did actually put it together. Like, got the models from the files and everything to put it together. And it looks suspiciously like one of the bosses from Dark Souls 3. So now we are going to here. Because we can now progress this way. So we're going to allow... Oh, we don't actually have enough to level up. Um, what souls do I have? Let's grab these. So, Nameless Soldier, let's use that. It's only 800. Uh, Proud Knight, what are you? 2,000. How much do we need? Another 3,000 for a level up, so... Two... And four. Give me some of that strength. There we go. And because I'm not wearing the ring, can't understand a word she says. I will prepare to them. I will if you need. Um, I can't actually go for Nito at the moment. Because I need a light source to get through the uh, Tomb of Giants, and I don't have one. So I am hoping to get one from here. Because there is a place to get a light source down here. I just need to get to it. Fact. Can I open it straight away? I will double check. Um. So, yeah, I need 30 humanity, and I don't have 30. I've got like 
footprint healed. Oh well, we shall make our way through demon ruins. Luckily I've almost killed everything here so... It is pretty much just a straight run to... Another boss. In fact. So we make our way past these guys. Make our way down here. All the demons are already dead over there, so don't need to worry about them. We'll still have Capra over here, won't we? So we can see how damage compares with the Dragon's Tooth rather than the great sword that I was using when I was down. Well, it wasn't even the great sword, it was the Zviander when I came down here initially. Hi, Capra. LL, LL, LL underscore LL, LL, LL. LL, 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 LL. So we're going this way again. And yeah, Capra died in two hits. Wasn't even a challenge. Wait, is that still blocked off? Do I need to place the Lord Vessel first? Don't tell me I do. Yeah, it is. That's still blocked off down there. Um, what am I doing? Right, let's go and place the Lord Vessel. And stop acting like a Muppet. <laughs> I'm doing everything in the wrong order this game. So I need to warp to Firelink. Ignore him and drop down here. Um, place the Lord Vessel. See, Brina, after all the spam that you've seen, you should be good at it by now. <laughs> this is the step I was missing. There we go. <laughs> now we can go back to here. See, I came here earlier and forgot to place the Lord Vessel. That's what I did wrong. Now I can continue down this way.
And yeah, we have the, the cloth sack for our helmet. That's not coming off. I've changed up the other bits of the armour, like instead of wearing all traveller stuff, I've got Tarkus's black iron legs and arms on, but the cloth sack is staying on the head. So uh, run back past all these guys praying. at range of the second one. I will know soon. Apparently. Hi Kelly. So the name of the town is Chlanvaya Po Hwing Yth Gogeru Chwindrobo Chlantisilio Gogogoch. There is even a song that will teach you to sing it. I might put it on at the end of the stream actually because I know it's not copyrighted as well. It's like a free use song for schools and stuff to use. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine in Aberystwyth showed me the song to learn how to play it. I'll learn how to say it, I should say. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you, sorry I GTG, see ya. Bye, fuming. One last bit of Rick actually before you go. Right, so. <laughs> what are you playing next, Brina? Like, I know you're playing Soma at the moment. What do you have planned after that? What's your next scary game? Bastion. I really like Bastion. Like, it was 
on like a free play weekend ages ago and I ended up finishing it in like a single weekend it's a really fun game yeah Last of Us is on console and Reno does not yet have a capture card and it doesn't have a PC release Are you going to play something else scary? Are you going to keep that theme going? Are you going to pick something else? Yeah, Last of Us is a PS PlayStation exclusive. Right, I did not mean to fall all the way down then, but I will take it. Cause my light source is in here somewhere. Imagine not having a capture cars. Capture cars. Some light metal. Come on, one of these will have it. Won't you? Did none of them drop it? Rubbish. Or is it the one through the door that I need to get? Yeah, I got lucky with a capture card because they were on sale for Black Friday. So I got it like half the price it should have been. Outlast 2 is good. I don't think I've ever seen the DLC for the first one, so I'm not sure what it is. But I know Outlast 2 is good. And it is up to you, Brina. You don't have to do what Kelly says. Yeah, one of the bugs in here is supposed to drop a light source, or has a chance of dropping one, and I just can't see it. Right, let's do this jump. Because there is an item over here, and I want to know what it is. Brave Warrior. Right, bugger it, let's go and fight this boss then, shall we? I vaguely remember how he works. Vaguely. Oh yeah, I have to go off this bit, Donna. Right, boss time, if I can remember how this boss even works. Demon Fire Sage. Ow. And he's got an explosion. Lovely. Right, his explosion isn't as bad as him actually hitting me, so we will go for the arse technique. Or 
try to anyway. Yeah, it's the range on that explosion. Looks like it's two rolls. And his weapon is massive. World of Warcraft. Maybe you should finally play a healer, Labrina. I remember you saying you were going to play a healer this expansion. Never happened, did it? His weapon is massive, Craigasm. Brina, your guild master. And it doesn't mean you can't level one as an alt. Man, you. Attempt number two. I honestly remember absolutely nothing about this guy. Right, so he does the movement. And then he does the explosion like a second later. Brina ra 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 and he's got to jump. So. If he does the stab down. Yeah, the explosion still got me then. Eh. Put stomp, same as normal. Another bot stomp. Another bot stomp. If you can just carry on doing these, I'll be happy. Oh, that was the explosion. Yeah, I can give him another couple of goes. Uh, um, don't think I have anything useful for it. This is one feature I am glad they removed in later games. Got rid of it. Auto putting stuff in your quick bar. Ah, 
Right, Dark Souls 3 had an option for you to turn it on for very specific items. But... Right. Oh wait, do I have the Firestone Plate Ring? I do. Every little helps. <gasps> what power has Brina been given? Rel <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kelly. Banned for excessive spam. Can't ban Brina is a mod. Right. I've got some fire defense on this time, it might help a bit. Might help a bit if I rolled through that properly as well. Ow. Wow, that wrecks me. You looked at four houses, Beth. Where were the two that you liked? Anywhere decent. They weren't in Clayton, were they? Not like the one they tried to scam you out of. Or scam you into buying, I should say. Yeah, you should definitely bitch slaps that estate agent if you haven't already. That explosion is still an arse. Hop back. Right, so he always goes to two swings when he does that. And I was still inside explosion range there. What the fuck? Yep. 
a bolt stomp in it. That was a silly time to heal. Right, he's jumped back, now is the time to do it. And yeah, that... Ow! This could be another explosion. I managed to roll through that one. Yeah, it's like two rolls away. Half health. <laughs> Just in case you want to pull a sicky. Sherry, Sherry, at least it's not something easy like Marmu, or even No Eyes. So yeah, I need to save stamina for rolling away. Imagine wiping on no eyes, lol. It's alright, Sherry. I'm sure we'll get you to see you play this game eventually. One day. And then we'll see how long it takes you. Imagine dying constantly on Mario 64. <laughs> and yeah, bugger locking on for this guy. Imagine getting jebated by a sleazy house salesman. Oh, that was the second one in a row. Why? And another one. Now he's just spamming them. Bot stomp is fine. We like bot stomp. What if you just Yeah, even if I run and jump, I can't get far enough away from that one. Unless... It's a frontal cone. That's what I'm doing wrong. Ra. 
right. So it doesn't extend all around him, it's just in front of him. So I've got to watch for him doing it stab and running behind. Stab him in the pee -pee -poo -poo. Yep, stab him in the poo-poo. That's what I need to do. So. Watch for him doing the slash. Or the stab in the ground and then get behind him. Yeah, if I can get, I think running away, running and jumping should have taken me far enough away, but it wasn't quick enough. That wasn't quick enough, two rolls won't be. So, I'm going to try and get behind him each time. Because it seems to be a frontal cord. So. But stomp, but stomp is fine. Nope. Look, he does the stab. Ah, it's only a little bit behind him extends, so. Here we go, avoided it that time. That time I didn't, and now I'm stuck in the corner. <sighs> so the stab one, I can go behind him. If I can get that quickly. Set.
robot stump. Kill IT. So that one is much faster. And reaches much further. Bot stump. Bot stomp is fine, we like bot stomp. Circle around a bit, give me some movement some space. That's the one I keep missing. Foot stop is fine now. Cheeky. We'll boost up the bonfire a bit. it's just the quick one that keeps catching me. He does like a quick sideways slash and the explosion is almost immediately afterwards and that's what keeps catching me. So I think I'm just going to try and heal through it. But as long as he doesn't spam that move I'll be alright. Although he does seem to have kind of like a, a recharge time after the stab one. Like with a stab one I can, as long as I see him winding up on it, I can run far enough away. Or I can try and get behind him, if I'm that close to him. But with the quick slash one it's like, I have a feeling you're supposed to roll through it but I'm just not getting the time on it. I'll give it another couple of goes and then I will go in search of food.
What am I doing? Oh, it's because I'm running into the side of the place. Right, there's a bot stomp or something. That's fine. That isn't. If you want to go carry on doing that, that's fine with me. Right, what are you doing? Big sweep. That was a stupid time to heal. Stomp. Come on, what are you doing? Big sweep. Big sweep. Sweep. I was out of range then, but he's gonna bot stomp. I have no problems with bot stomps. Gotcha. Bye. We got the demon catalyst. Whoop whoop whoop. Right, let's go up. I know there's more likely more dragon statues but I need to find a bonfire and level up get me some strength is what I need my health seems to be all right like nothing's really one shot me unless it's been a really powerful attack like the drakes fire and stuff Great warrior. So health is alright. Stamina's alright. I can get at least a couple of attacks off with stuff. Ah, uh, this is what we wanted. Shortcut. And back to this form fire. Give me that strength. So, we will be finishing there for today. Because I am tired and I need food. And I've got a couple of bosses done at least. I still need to find my source of light, which I know is in Lost Isolith somewhere. Um, so, I. I will be back again on Tuesday most likely um, with more 
yeah, it'll be more subnautica at that time. But I will leave you with a song. Um, God Gamer. Uh, da, da, da. Which is the one I want? No, not that one. You can go away. Ah, uh, that's the one we want. And leave you all with a song. There's a certain Welsh village which has become world famous simply because of its name. A name which enables the village to boast one of the longest railway station signs in the world. <laughs> Situated on the beautiful Isle of Anglesey, it is called Llanfair Pwllgwyn Gell Gogerach Gwyrn Drobo Llanty Silio Gogogoch. This song will teach you how to say it. Llanfair Pwllgwyn Gell Gogerach Gwyrn Drobo Llanty Silio Gogogoch. Llanfair Pwllgwyn Gell Gogerach Gwyrn Drobo Llanty Silio Gogogoch. A name which has fascinated everyone. A name which is <laughs> it's how you learn to say the name of the village, Kelly. A name you will learn to say to anyone if you listen carefully. Let's find someone to raid as well, shall we? Right. Now we'll take it slow. <gasps> yeah, Kira is live, so we will go and raid over to Kira. Oh, Brina is going live. <gasps> what are you playing, Brina? Ah, Brina's playing Bastion. Yeah, let's raid on over to Brina then and say hello. But you should all go and check out Kira anyway. There was a lot of fun making fun of her yesterday, so... So there is Kira. And then we will raid on over to Brina. And those of you who aren't peasants and have more than one screen can watch Bob. And yeah, thanks for coming everybody. I will see you soon. St. Mary's Church, in a hollow by the White Hazel, close to the Rapid Whirlpool, near the Red Cave of St. Tisilio. So yeah, I will see you all soon. Bye bye everybody.